In mathematical optimization theory, duality means that optimization problems may be viewed from either of two perspectives, the primal problem or the dual problem. The solution to the dual problem provides a lower bound to the solution of the primal problem. However in general the optimal values of the primal and dual problems need not be equal. Their difference is called the duality gap. For convex optimization problems, the duality gap is zero under a constraint qualification condition. Dual problem. Usually dual problem refers to the Lagrangian dual problem but other dual problems are used. For example, the Wolf dual problem and the Fenchel dual problem. The Lagrangian dual problem is obtained by forming the Lagrangian, using non-negative Lagrange multipliers to add the constraints to the objective function, and then solving for some primal variable values that minimize the Lagrangian. This solution gives the primal variables as functions of the Lagrange multipliers, which are called dual variables, so that the new problem is to maximize the objective function with respect to the dual variables under the derived constraints on the dual variables. In general given two dual pairs of separated locally convex spaces and in the function, we can define the primal problem as finding such that in other words, is the infimum of the function. If there are constraint conditions, these can be built into the function by letting where is the indicator function, then let be a perturbation function such that the duality gap is the difference of the right and left hand sides of the inequality where is the convex conjugate in both variables and denotes the supremum. Duality gap. The duality gap is the difference between the values of any primal solutions and any dual solutions. If is the optimal dual value and is the optimal primal value, then the duality gap is equal to. This value is always greater than or equal to zero. The duality gap is zero if and only if strong duality holds. Otherwise the gap is strictly positive and weak duality holds. In computational optimization, another duality gap is often reported, which is the difference in value between any dual solution and the value of a feasible but suboptimal iterate for the primal problem. This alternative duality gap quantifies the discrepancy between the value of a current feasible but suboptimal iterate for the primal problem in the value of the dual problem. The value of the dual problem is under regularity conditions, equal to the value of the convex relaxation of the primal problem. The convex relaxation is the problem arising replacing a non-convex feasible set with its closed convex hull and with replacing a non-convex function with its convex closure. That is the function that has the epigraph that is the closed convex hull of the original primal objective function, the linear case. Linear programming problems are optimization problems in which the objective function and the constraints are all linear. In the primal problem, the objective function is a linear combination of n variables. There are m constraints, each of which places an upper bound on a linear combination of the n variables. The goal is to maximize the value of the objective function subject to the constraints. A solution is a vector of n values that achieves the maximum value for the objective function. There are n dual constraints, each of which places a lower bound on a linear combination of m dual variables. Relationship between the primal problem and the dual problem in the linear case, in the primal problem, from each suboptimal point that satisfies all the constraints. There is a direction or subspace of directions to move that increases the objective function. Moving in any such direction is said to remove slack between the candidate solution and one or more constraints. An infeasible value of the candidate solution is one that exceeds one or more of the constraints. In the dual problem, the dual vector multiplies the constants that determine the positions of the constraints in the primal. Varying the dual vector in the dual problem is equivalent to revising the upper bounds in the primal problem. The lowest upper bound is sought. That is, the dual vector is minimized in order to remove slack between the candidate positions of the constraints and the actual optimum. 
An infeasible value of the dual vector is one that is too low. It sets the candidate positions of one or more of the constraints in a position that excludes the actual optimum. This intuition is made formal by the equations in linear programming. Duality. An interesting example is the shortest path problem. The shortest path problem in a positively weighted graph can be formulated as a special minimum cost flow problem, which is in primal form, and the well-known Dijkstra's algorithm is the primal dual algorithm that solves the dual form and starts from zeros. Yeah pointed out that the popular A asterisk algorithm is also the primal dual algorithm that solves the dual form, but it starts from H where H greater than zero is the consistent heuristic, hence one explanation that the A asterisk algorithm is more efficient than the Dijkstra's algorithm is that as initial solution, H is better than zero. Economic interpretation If we interpret our primal LP problem as a classical resource allocation problem. Its dual can be interpreted as a resource valuation problem. The nonlinear case. In nonlinear programming, the constraints are not necessarily linear. Nonetheless, many of the same principles apply. To ensure that the global maximum of a nonlinear problem can be identified easily, the problem formulation often requires that the functions be convex and have compact lower level sets. This is the significance of the karush kuhn tucker conditions. They provide necessary conditions for identifying local optima of nonlinear programming problems. There are additional conditions that are necessary so that it will be possible to define the direction to an optimal solution. An optimal solution is one that is a local optimum, but possibly not a global optimum. The strong Lagrangian principle. Lagrange duality given a nonlinear programming problem in standard form with the domain having non-empty interior. The Lagrangian function is defined as the vectors and are called the dual variables or Lagrange multiplier vectors associated with the problem. The Lagrange dual function is defined as the dual function G is concave, even when the initial problem is not convex, because it is a pointwise infimum of affine functions. The dual function yields lower bounds on the optimal value of the initial problem for any and any we have. If a constraint qualification such as Slater's condition holds and the original problem is convex, then we have strong duality, i.e., convex problems for a convex minimization problem with inequality constraints. The Lagrangian dual problem is where the objective function is the Lagrange dual function, provided that the functions are continuously differentiable, the infimum occurs where the gradient is equal to zero. The problem is called the Wolf dual problem. This problem may be difficult to deal with computationally, because the objective function is not concave in the joint variables. Also, the equality constraint is nonlinear in general, so the Wolf dual problem is typically a non convex optimization problem. In any case, weak duality holds. History According to George Danzig, the duality theorem for linear optimization was conjectured by John von Neumann immediately after Danzig presented the linear programming problem. Von Neumann noted that he was using information from his game theory and conjectured that two-person zero-sum matrix game was equivalent to linear programming. Rigorous proofs were first published in 1948 by Albert W. Tucker and his group. 